Good afternoon, zombie nerds. We are fresh. Just installed the ultimate experience. We'll make sure we have a link down below to the Steam uh, workshop for it. We're jumping in here first time. We're going to check some stuff out, see how it works, see what's going on. So general game difficulty looks like we can babies are very slow, minus 2% XP, rager. So we're going to do, we're just going to leave it on default for now. It doesn't even look like rage induced is an option. Maybe that's default. It's one or the other. Oh, there we go. Rage induced right here. Okay. Okay. Striding realm. We'll straight at one time caps at the max amount of time. Interesting kill cap. No traps. Yeah, we'll keep traps and gobble gum system. Uh, sure. Ooh, disabling gobble gum gives you 3% XP. Sheesh. I haven't really used them before. We don't need to use them now. Um, pack a bunch of machines for sure. Mystery box for sure. No perk limit. Love to see it. So this is the general tab here. Uh, you guys can't see the top general. Now you can't see the top general. So that's the settings there. We're going to jump over to uh, UEM system. Weapon drop system. Cool. We can drop weapons with other people. Doesn't really matter for us. Uh, deployment station in game. Interesting. Number of... Oh, I like this. Number of repack. Um, Pack-a-punch uses. This is huge, man. I like to do 10, personally. Oh, default is 11 times. Repacking, going to ultimate. Okay. So that's the default. Nice. It's 11 times you're packing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Upgrade against from random boxes. Sheesh. Interesting. Random though, eh? Black Ops 4 uh, max ammo. Allow or disable usage of the Black Ops 4 max ammo in the game. Fill up your clip. Cool. Black Ops 4 carpenter. Yep, yep. Boom. I don't mind that. Oh, repair your shield. Cool. Ammo packs. Fill your stock by small amount. Uh, and a drop. Ooh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. So just continuous ammo. Yeah, let's jump over to perks here. Obviously, you can disable as many things as you want to or enable them. Allow use of perks in game. Yep, 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 yep. Juggernaut. So these are perks. We're going to leave everything on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm not too worried about perks. That's a lot of perks. It's sick, though. Very cool. Very cool. Power ups, XP drops, carpenters. Uh, we could turn nukes off. Uh, we'll leave them on, you know, we'll leave them on. Carpenter bonus points, double points, XP drop. Cool, nice. XP drop, eh? Sheesh. Hell yeah, we want that. Because there's a, uh, basically you can grind through levels and ranks in this now. Map weapons allow to save map weapons from mystery boxes. will not override the maps. Wall weapons. Yeah, we'll leave that on. I don't know what that is. I think we're just going to leave like the weapons that comes with this mod. Wonder weapons on. DLC weapons on. Melee weapons on. Enemy special rounds. Sure, that's like dogs and such. Yeah. Headshots only. No special knowing zombies. Yeah, we'll leave that on. That's kind of like, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy with that off. Exploding zombies and stuff like that. Game modes. Gun game. Disables wedge and swipping. Random box, pack a bunch of necessary perks, and we'll buy weapons. So cool. So that is basically the ultimate experience in a nutshell there. I believe there's actually player settings too we could jump under. Um, what we're going to do here though is pull up um, our subscribed items here. And also kind of show everybody what it uh, consists of here there are a few different mods we installed yesterday but this one specifically is kind of what i want to showcase uh for this video anyone new that's looking into trying it out so what it comes up with over here is there's leveling added to it now which is sick purchase stores special kills equipment kills game end round survive melee kills all levels you up 90 levels I believe there is 20 prestiges. Pretty sick. Prestige unlock rewards, badges, new challenges, showcase, dedication, and skill. Brutal ranks. That's the harder one. So increased XP as well, not too. Milestones. Some milestones get bonus XP. So depending on the round survived, kills made, all that kind of stuff. Very cool. Lifetime stats. 
So regardless, it saves it all in the cloud so you can reaccess all of that, which is pretty cool as well in itself. Quality of life, weapon scaling, more damage for regular pack weapons based off of rounds. Awesome. Ping, tag system. Fixed death machine, always does damage. Cool, I guess there's a glitch before. Camo based off kills, that's sick. Saves between games as well. Only base weapons due to uh, some problems. Weapon drop system like Cold War, that's pretty cool as well. Extra features, deployable system. Um, so that's something you can drop on the ground. What is a buyable ammo? Uh, portable wonder fizz, host only. I don't know what that is. Point share. Xville host only starting for around 25 in each five rounds. That's pretty cool. Rain inducer host only. Toggleable settings, HUD, XP feed, hit marker, zombie counter. So it looks like it's pretty cool. Lots of interesting things in this. Uh, super excited to try it. But I kind of wanted to just, you know, go over uh, what's going on in there. And quickly, I guess we can check player stats. So brutal rank, regular mode. Uh, favorite camo, latest camo, weapon kills. Okay. So that's just some other stuff here. Interesting. Huh? So. Okay. So map characters, I guess. These are different ones you can do, like donating and such and all that kind of deal. So we just leave it at that. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm super excited to try it. We're going to be booting up a map right now. It's all with this mod, but I just wanted to kind of go over all the settings and everything um, in there so people could see. Get on our records. Cool. So we can see all our stuff. Everything's brand new. Total distance. Lots of detailed stuff. Time play. Total rounds. Highest total play time. Highest round. X fills. Tons of stuff. Total downs. Revives. Kills. Matches. Individual match. Perks. How many perks drink? Lots of stats. Very cool. People like to keep track of stats, which is awesome. Sounds like some cool stuff in here too. A few different uh, special weapons. ARs, SMGs, LMGs, pistols, launchers. I don't see snipers. Maybe there's more. I just have to scroll over to. Nope, that's all. That's all. But still lots of cool stuff in there. Lots of stats to keep track of. Um, okay. Uh, we don't need to do anything there. Hey, I believe this is just regular game stuff too. But yeah, that's the ultimate experience. I will be putting a link down below for the uh, Steam Workshop. Feel free to check it out yourself. Uh, turn things on, turn things off, depending what you're looking for. The reason why I'm doing it is a progression system. Lots of ranks, lots of camos. Um, weapons can be packed much more than one time. Uh, so super cool experience. I believe it's like 500k plus, 6, 700k plus to do 11 pack of punches. It is expensive. Uh, you know, sometimes you get up to those high rounds and, you know, you just have so much money. At least you can continue to pack a punch, but at a very great cost. But I appreciate anybody that watched this uh, far in the video. Feel free to let me know any other mods that you enjoy. And uh, hopefully you guys can see the next video when we uh, jump into a map. Looking forward to it. And yeah, thanks everybody that came by. I appreciate it. Goodbye.